Um, cause I, I think before Juice will pass, um, he was supposed to go to rehab. Um, how did you feel about that? And have you ever considered, you know? I wish the documentary would have talked about that more. Yeah. I'm glad you said that. But yeah, he was supposed to go to rehab. He was open for it. It's not like he wasn't. He was definitely open for it. But, um, you know, when everybody wasn't around, I'll say this. When everybody wasn't around, he would let me know as clear as day, like, Nigga, I'm going. I'll go to rehab, right? I'll make you guys happy and go to rehab. Damn. But I'm bringing my drugs. Damn. Like I'm bringing my pills with me. So, I was never really, I, him telling me like he told me that when nobody else was around. So right. me knowing that when everybody else gets to talking about he need to go to rehab, he need to go to rehab. I'll kind of just look at niggas like, right. Y'all don't even understand where his mindset is right, right. now. Like. Y'all sending him to rehab ain't gonna do shit. Right. Like this nigga is going to sneak some some you get what I'm saying? Yeah. What do you say to that when he says that? I can't it's like it's so hard for me to say something because I sip lean. Right. And there's a lot of motherfuckers that would want me to go to rehab for sipping lean. Right. And I know for sure if I go to rehab for sipping lean, I'm going to try to get some lean in there. Right. I'm going to just keep it a thousand. Right. I sip lean right now. Right. I see you. So, just keeping it a hundred. Right. It's like, I, I I do want the nigga to go to rehab. Right. But I, I know the truth. I know what reality. Right. So, I wasn't really pushing him so more, right. so forth. I was pushing him. What I was pushing him for was to get that fucking doctor to come to the house for a house oh, wow. call. That happened though. But yeah. That didn't. That Cause was, I mean, like twenty perks a day. That's honestly like. He probably was doing more than that. That's. That's just a safe number. Right. To say, he was definitely doing more than that. Damn. Facts. One thing I didn't know that he that um. It kind of like, ticked me. When I watched the documentary, he ain't never told me he sniffed perks. Oh, really? He's never told me that. We've never talked about that. But one thing that he um, doesn't know is um, in his house, the 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 room I'd sleep in was right next to his. So it could be early oh, in the morning. Yeah, it could be early in the morning, and I'm hearing. Damn. So I know what's going on, right. but I've never seen it with my own eyes. Right. And I know, you feel me, Ali right. likes to get high as well. Right. So I don't know who's who, and I'm not finna run in the room. Like, hey, what? Right, right. So I don't, you feel me? Right. But I've never, I'm, I've never, the next day when I wake up, I never remember to be like, hey, nigga, what's up with that shit? Right, you right. feel me? Because, and at the same time, I get I smoke weed. I was gonna I, ask. You feel me? I was drinking lean, so it's like. Did he ever offer you perks and whatnot? Of course. Of course, I can't lie. Of course, yeah. he'd offer me perks. I'd offer him perks. Oh, okay. But at a certain time, towards the end of his career, I wasn't doing. I was slowing down on perks, not because I wanted to or nothing like that. That's just because I just don't give a fuck. But I didn't like. I don't need a perk right. like that. I do a perk on the weekend if I wanted to get high or something. And fail. You feel me? Like I don't really be doing perks like that at that time. Now I don't do perks. Period. Right. Ever good. since he died. Right. Period. I don't I want it. that. Yeah, I don't do that. Period. Right. But at that time, I wasn't. I was. So for me to say I wasn't is it would be a lie. I right. was, but I was slowing down. Right. And he would always ask me like, "How are you slowing down?" Damn. And I used to always fuck my head up like, "Nigga, what do you, what do you mean? How am I slowing down? Nigga, you slow down like. Yeah. The fuck like. That's wild. And now that he gone, I, 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 all the conversations that we had, certain shits. It's like, damn, I wish I would have answered that shit better. Right. When he asked me certain shit. Right. Because he's, that nigga is dead serious. Right. Like, he, bro, it, it, he's one of a kind. Like, right. He'd be so high out of his mind that he only think about real shit. Right, right. So when he be saying certain shit to certain people and it might catch certain people off guard, he dead fucking serious. Right. And he's really going through that. Right. Like, facts. Damn. Because uh, at the documentary, you know, G Herbo did the panel and he was saying how when Juice World passed, he kind of got back to sipping, doing the perks because he just didn't know what to do. How did Juice's death affect you just having such a close relationship with him? Um, normally, I'm good with death. Right. Like, you know, gangbanging, growing up in the streets, right. that's is death of jail. Right. That's what we signed up for. So I'm used to that shit. But it's like 
Juice, that's my baby. Juice World, that's my little nigga. Like, he wouldn't hurt a fly. Right. So, at the same time, I'm glad can't no nigga say they took his life or no type of weird shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I don't want him gone. Right. So, it's just weird. That's like, that's like, that wasn't like, losing him wasn't like losing somebody that like, that was like losing my little brother. Like, right. That was like losing my, that was my everyday nigga. Like, you got to think about it. He's much bigger than me. And this nigga will call me every day to check up on me, see what I'm doing. He want me to send him some unreleased music. He yeah. want me to pull up. He want to come ride dirt bikes and shoot guns in the mountains all night. Like, that's what we doing type shit. Like, so f for me to have that relationship, it's like, bro, I don't take nothing for granted. And I let him know that. Right. I got a million and one videos of me telling him I love him. I yeah. appreciate everything. And I'm glad I, I did shit like that. Like, right. So losing him, with it, that 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 took a chunk out my heart. Right. Yes. How did you find out? Shout out Donovan. Um, it's Don. Uh, I was I was in L. A. and I felt like shit because I was supposed to go to, on with that him. plane with him. Right. Damn, that's why. Because I was with him on his actual birthday. Right. He was in Los Angeles for his actual birthday. We went to go shoot guns, and he was telling me that he got to go back to Chicago for his family to celebrate his birthday. And I'm like, that's fire. And he was like, come. And I'm like, okay, but his birthday is in December, which is right around the corner from Christmas. And like I said, now, including the Juice World shit, I've probably been to Chicago twice. Wow. So at that time, I've only been there once. So in, the, in my mind, I'm like, I don't know anybody out there. I'm not, I don't want to be that nigga that's just around for no reason. He's going to be around his family. I don't want to, I'm not finna, you get what I'm saying? That's yeah, not, I'm not doing that. that. Like, right. But I should have went and I found out by um, Don calling me as I'm in Los Angeles. Um, I'm sitting in my driveway. They call me like, yeah, he's done. Basically like, and at first I'm like, wait, what? Like, he in jail? Right. Type shit. Like, right. they, like they found the um, shit and you know, I, I can say this now because he passed, but on his birthday, when we went to go shoot guns, he bought all those guns. Oh, wow. That he got caught on the jet with. He bought that, oh, that, wow. that, I forgot how many, excuse me, I forgot how many guns in total was on that jet, but I'm willing to bet money that, let's say if there's 10 guns, I'm, I'm willing to bet eight out of 10 guns he bought that night. The one with the suppressor, a fuckload of guns, but it was just so weird because I, I felt like I should have been there. Right. I, but at the same time, shout out Chris Long. He did exactly what I would have did, which was, nigga, put this shit in my bag. Let's go. Right. You know how we getting down, period. Even though there was other niggas on that plane that could have did that. Should have did that, but didn't. And they own hometown, but it is what it is. It's cool. Chris Long got the fuck up and did what was supposed to be done. And so at the same time of me feeling like I wish I'd been there, I know Chris Long got the job done anyways. What needed to be done had to be done. But I just wish maybe I could have been there for Juice. I could have just let him know, like, they don't even worry, bro. Yeah. Like, you're fine. You feel me? Just something. Yeah. Like, I just wish I could have. Let them know, like right. you, you're really finna be fine. We, I, I'll probably have to go to jail. Chris finna go to jail, right. but we'd be right back. You're right. fine though. I wish he would probably would have knew that, because right. all of that in one probably he's probably nobody knows the amount of stress he was under. Right, exactly. and he was already having a hard day. Right. So, damn. So how was it? I know we talked a little bit. You said I, I told you I cried in the documentary. I know you shed some tears. What was it like watching yourself in that documentary? And uh, it was so. It was good watching myself in the documentary, right? Because I'm glad that some of the stories that I've experienced with him, people care about to hear. But um, I just wish the documentary focused a little bit more on Jared. Right. Cause, and I know there's, there's gonna be more documentaries and series of him to come, but he's a great kid. Um, mama's boy for sure. 
Right. He loved his daddy too, but he's a mama's boy for sure. I wish they cop. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that happened behind the scenes with Jared, separate than like him being on rocking shows at, right, every right. night. You know, totally. So I just wish that. I, and I know his fans want to see that too. Right. But you never know in the future what may come. Right. So. What are some of those things that you wanted? You you wish you could see just. Like I said, he likes shooting guns, mm -hmm. and we like going to the mountain. And we'll go to the mountain, set up a campfire. Damn. Yeah, sit there, make s'mores and shit. And we'll he, he like riding dirt bikes. We'll bring all the dirt bikes out there with the guns, ride dirt bikes. And even then when it's nighttime, we got lights for all the dirt bikes. So Damn. the lights on them, we just go ride. We all following each other for miles on end. He taught me how to ride a dirt bike. Mm. Like the shoes I wore on his birthday, I still have with mud on them. I've never worn them mm. since. Like, I remember, like, and if he's not doing that, we go into the studio. And even if... We're not recording a song that night. I love watching him record because right. this shit is a movie. Right. So there's just certain 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 hobbies like that 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 I would that he instilled in me. Right. That I'll never forget. I respect that.